What's going on, YouTube? Uberman here. So, great night tonight. It is 4 o'clock in the morning, but I will admit that I stopped at a Whataburger on the way home, and I got the Whataburger combo. I was so hungry, and it was so good. And I, again, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. But I'm not going to leave you guys hanging. I got uh, an update video to make for you guys. Um, I try to let you know every day how, how the day went and, and how my week is progressing. And, uh, you know, guys, I'm not a... I'm not really upset at all. Um, I can see how maybe in some areas this won't work. Uh, but maybe it will. I'm torn on it. Um, I'll start with uh, my paperwork here. So tonight, I logged in at 9 and I quit at 3. And normally I stay logged in until 6, but I blew the minimum rates out of the water tonight. So there's no reason to stay logged in until 6. All I'm going to do is get a few $4 runs here that's not worth it. Um, tonight, my net was 119.41. Yes, my net was 119.41. That's after Uber took their commission and all that jazz. Um, I took 18 people tonight and I drove a total of um, 104 miles this evening. So that's not bad. It's not bad at all. Um, I'm happy. You know, I've got some tips. Not much. Uh, I didn't even count them. But, uh, you know, here's the... Uh, stupid thing won't focus. Anyway, you can see it good enough. You can see it well enough. There we go. I've taken a total of 68 rides. 68 runs. That is a lot. Um, you know, I get good gas mileage. So gas is negligible. Um, I used a quarter of a tank of gas tonight. So honestly... That might be seven dollars, maybe eight dollars. Yeah, probably about eight dollars. I'd say close to eight dollars. I don't think it'll be eight dollars, but close to eight dollars. Um, is a good night. So um, that figure right there, the uh, three fifteen, um, that does not include the the subsidies that Uber is supposed to be paying me. I'm not counting on it yet, but. Um, you know, I think it's. I think they're going to pay what they said they're going to pay. So if you take the 315 and add the difference between what I actually made and what Uber is going to pay me, we have to add uh, 3640, and we have to add 2035. We have to have 1179, and that gives a uh, a total what I should get paid so far for the week is 383.54. Um, that's after the 20%, that's after the writer's fees, that's after everything is said and done. Um, if Uber pays me the way they said they're going to pay me, my payout thus far is $383.54. Um, obviously from Monday night through Thursday night. Four days. Um, it's not great money, but it's not bad money. Um, guys, I still have Friday night to work, Saturday night to work, and from what I understand, um, because Monday's Martin Luther King Day and there's no school, Sunday night's going to be hopping too. So, you know, I've got uh, three more pretty busy nights to work. And uh, I believe that when all is said and done, that when I do my final review video on the new rates, um, Monday or Tuesday, I got a feeling I'm going to have cleared $600. I mean, there's really no reason I shouldn't clear $600. Um, I mean, even at the guaranteed rates, three three fifty four. If I don't meet um, for the next three days, if I do not meet the uh, guarantees, you know the, you know what I'm saying. If they have if they have to subsidize me, the it, it comes out to uh, eighty six dollars and forty cents per shift that they end up paying me out. Whether you know if I don't um, make over that. So if you take three more days, at three three fifty four, and add to that. Um, 86.4 plus 
6.4 plus 86.4. Yeah, yeah, easy. My payout, my actual payout should be somewhere along the line of 642.74. But something tells me that tomorrow, or today now, I guess, um, it's now the 16th, but Friday, Friday night, I'm pretty sure I'm going to clear $100. Um, Saturday night, you know what? Friday night, I'm going to say I'll probably get close to 100 Saturday night, I'll clear 100 so honestly, it's really looking like my payout's going to be somewhere along the lines of uh, $700 or so. Um, I do have a couple miscellaneous payouts that are coming um, for $100 a piece on this next check, so that'll add $200 to it. I mean, I don't count that as like earned income through Uber because it's it's not, you know, it's a referral bonus. Um, so if I pull in what I expect, and I expected it from the beginning, I mean from the very beginning I expected that I could pull in six to seven hundred in a week doing this with the new rates and the new guarantees. Um, this is what I expected and it looks like um, it looks like I'm gonna make it. I mean if if all goes well I'm gonna make it. Um, I will reach the goal that I had set. Um, and then you know if I make seven hundred, which I should, and you add to that the 200 that I'm getting for my referral bonuses, uh, you know, that's a $900 payout. Um, it's pretty good. Uh, last week my payout was 400 and something, like $432. And this isn't even counting tips, guys. Um, I haven't included my tips in these numbers. I keep tips separate. This is strictly, I want this uh, review to be strictly, uh, because, you know, you can't figure tips in your area. You may not get tips, but I do. So... What I'm trying to do is drive out here as much as possible. Well, I mean, I'm doing the same shifts, but still, it's for me, this is a lot of work. I'm not used to working nine hours a day. But, uh, you know, hell, today I didn't work nine hours a day. I worked six hours, and I made 119.41 payout. So, you know, not bad. Um, I'm really interested to hear from some of you guys. Um, how's it going out there, you know? I would really like to know because I'm not hearing much. I, what I, let me tell you what I'm hearing. I'm hearing a lot of people tell me that it can't be done. I'm, here, I'm hearing the same old, same old stuff. I said I'm working. I'm working on not cursing in my videos because I, I know it's it's unbecoming. It's unprofessional. It's definitely not gentlemanlike. So um, it's something I'm trying to work on. But uh, I, guys, it gets so tiring hearing the same thing and it's it's usually from the same people you can't make any money doing this with the new rates you'll never make any money with the new rates it's not possible to make a living you can't you can't figure out how much you make with an hourly guarantee yes i can i i'm, I'm doing it I, <laughs> I log everything i know exactly how much i make um, the $12 an hour comes out to a net of $9 and I believe 40 cents. Um, I don't have it right in front of me, but it's either $9 and 40 cents or $9 and 60 cents an hour, which, you know, isn't much. And wow, look at that focus. Stupid camera. There we go. Um, you know, I've got people telling me, oh, you're not taking your maintenance into consideration. I absolutely am taking my maintenance into consideration. But guys, my maintenance is negligible. <laughs> okay, I've got tires that should easily last 40,000 miles. All right, that's over a year of Uber driving. Um, tires were about $400. I just put them on. Um, you know, so... Uh, try to run a, a quick, just just a really quick little math lesson here. Okay, I have to write all this down because I got some numbers. But let's say it's four hundred dollars for tires. Okay, let's—I mean, it wasn't, but let's say it's four hundred dollars for tires. Okay, these tires should last forty thousand miles um, easily because I regularly rotate balance and have my alignments done. Um, so forty thousand miles, I figure on average I put on twenty-five, thirty thousand miles a year. So let's just go at a max. Let's say the tires only last a year. Let's say they last thirty thousand. Let's say the mileage that I put on my car is at its maximum, and the tires don't last near as long as they should. Let's say they just. Let's just do one year, okay? Um, I change my oil every five thousand miles. I use a Bosch um, extended performance filter that's good for twelve thousand miles, but I would never let my oil go that long. I use Mobile One full synthetic. Oil changes every 5,000 miles. So if you assume that you drive 30,000 miles a year, you're talking about six oil changes. Okay? 
So, six oil changes in a year. The oil changes run me uh, about $55. Okay, so we've got $400 in one year for tires. We've got $55 times six months is $330. Now, we have tires. We have oil changes for the entire year. Um, my car is new. I mean, it, it doesn't require a transmission service or anything, but I will get the transmission service, let's say, yearly, okay, which I plan on doing. So that's about uh, $300 for the transmission flush. Um, I'm trying to do this yearly so that you can understand an approximation of what it costs to do this. So we've got tires, oil, we've got transmission, and for the most part, that should be it. On occasion, you'll have brakes, but guys, brakes last a long time. Um, seriously, uh, you're talking 50,000 miles. So I mean, even if you get your your an entire set of brakes every two years, you're talking about 200 bucks every two years for brakes. Usually, right? It's usually under 100 dollars per axle. But um, let's say you've got to get your brakes replaced, complete front to back. Um, your brake pads go out um, every two years, and it costs you 200 dollars. So that that's uh, that that comes out to about 100 dollars for brakes. Okay, what what else you want to throw on there? I mean, we could throw on some seventeen dollar windshield wipers. I mean, we we could nitpick if you really want to. But here's the big ticket items. Okay, four hundred dollars for tires, three thirty for oil changes, three hundred for a transmission flush, hundred dollars for brakes. That's a year. This is for approximately thirty thousand miles. And I mean, this is if you take really good care of your car. Now, we we the tire rotate and balance I paid for one time, and it's good for the life of the tires. So. Um, since the tires are going to wear out in a year, let's say we have to pay for it again. That was uh, $36. The um, lifetime alignment that I got, I never had to pay for that again. That was $180. Bucks. And let's say you own the car for five years. Okay, so I plan on trading mine in uh, in four to five. When it's four to five years old, uh, with 120 to 150,000 miles, I plan on trading it on a new one. So, um, you know, let's take the $180 that I paid for alignment and let's divide that yearly. By, um, let's do four years just to be that's $45 a year okay that's everything that's for a year let's add it all up we got 400 for tires we got 330 for oil we got 300 for a transmission flush we got $100 for brakes we got 36 for the lifetime rotating balance we've got $45 for the alignment that comes out to $1,211 per year okay I mean this is this is this is gonna be easy math you know 12 11 divided by 12 months a year oops Maybe not. You know, obviously, hold on, what the heck? Isn't that nice? My computer, or no, my calculator locked up. Okay, you're talking about 100 bucks a month. $101. And guys, seriously, $101 a month for routine maintenance on your car. Um, come on. $100 a month? And you want to tell me that maintenance on a car is so severe? I mean, I know we could have thrown an air filter on there. I mean, you, I'm not going to sit here and write. You're talking a $12 air filter due every 12,000 miles, so three air filters. You're talking, we could add another $36 to it for air filters. Okay, let's do it. Let's add a. I'm not. I'm not doing it. Okay. The point is, you're talking $1,200 a year. Okay, $1,300 if you really push it. I mean, and I'm picky on my maintenance, so I'm telling you. The people that are out there saying, "Oh, the maintenance is so high. You're, 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 you can't afford. You're paying money. You're, you're paying money to work for Uber." I owned a very successful company. Okay, you can't tell me that I can't do math, and you can't tell me that I am paying money to work for Uber yet I'm managing to pay my bills. How, how, how is that? possible. Do you understand? It doesn't work. I know what I make, and I know that I'm paying my bills, so you're wrong. Okay, I can handle it. Um, if you put 30,000 miles a year on your car, but let's keep in mind this. I know people don't like to get in this, but real quick, we're going to finish this video up with the IRS standard deduction. So we've got 30,000 miles times, it is currently at um, 57.5, so 0 0.575 you will get a standard deduction of seventeen thousand two oh, my pen just died seventeen thousand two hundred fifty dollars now don't get this confused this is not money that the IRS is going to give you you're, you're not going to get seventeen thousand dollars back what this is is 
Um, guys, if you can just pull in, uh, let's say you pull in 400 a week, which isn't much. It should be it definitely should be doable. You should be able to bring in 400 a week. Um, you know, it's 1,600 a month and 12 months in a year. You're talking about 19,200 dollars um, a year. You, you should be able to do that, guys. You should be able to do 19 to a year. Okay, basically. You make, let's say you make nineteen two in a year. The IRS is giving you seventeen thousand two hundred and fifty dollars in deductions. This means you don't owe taxes. This means the money is yours, and they give you that deduction for things such as tires, oil, transmission fluid, brakes, etc., etc., etc. That's what the deduction is there for. It includes depreciation, car washes. Okay, so there you go. You get a $17,000 deduction on a car that is going to bring you, okay, I mean, try, try to keep this in mind. Your car is going to make you, should, around $19,200 a year. I don't know about you, but my car is a $26,000 car, or uh, $24,900, sorry. Don't, don't want to inflate the numbers. Okay, my car is $24,900. In one year, that car will make me nineteen two. Then the IRS gives me a deduction of seventeen two fifty. I fail to see where I'm losing here. In most situations, when you purchase a car, your car is not an investment. Okay, your car is a tool. Tools are—I mean, some tools are investments, but typically, tools you know you use and they wear out. You get rid of them. You never get near as much as what you paid for them. It's they're tools. A car is a tool. But in my situation, it's more than that. My car is an investment because, guys, even if I only make 18000 a year, okay, and I have this car for four years before I trade it in, this uh, $24,000 car will have brought me $72,000, okay? And even if you take the entire price of the car off, which is not true because I'll still get... Um, I should easily, in four years, still be able to get six to the six to eight grand for it after depreciation and with the mileage. You know, you're talking about a profit of around 48 grand. That's an investment. You got a return on your investment. You pay 24, it pays out 72. That's a return. It is an investment. Uh, I'm gonna, this is probably the longest video I've ever made, so I'm going to cut it off. But, you know, I just wanted to throw that out there. I'm really tired of hearing people telling me over and over again that you're spending money to work for Uber. Well, you know, I do, I appreciate everybody's comments. I appreciate your input. I really do. But I don't appreciate someone telling me what I'm doing and telling me that I don't know how to, how to operate a business because I, I assure you I do because I did. The only reason I don't have my business now is because things fell apart with my ex-wife and the business fell to pieces during that time. It was a rough time in my life and the business suffered because of it. So, you know, there it is. If you've got an argument, feel free to shoot it out there, but I'm getting tired of talking on this subject. So for now, guys, I got a new video getting ready to come up. Baby Mama and I made some decisions and she wants me to post a video. So I told her I would. Like, comment, subscribe. Be safe. Uber on.